Hi everyone, I'm Lala Bad. Welcome. If you're new here, take the time out to subscribe. Today I um, I'm having a late lunch, early dinner, and um, this is leftovers from a dinner last night. We had um, oh we had um, hot links with potatoes or sausage and potatoes, white butter rice and green beans. We also had collard greens, but they're all gone. Hi, Cubana or Britiana. So I wanted to have a chat with y'all because there's some things going on in the beauty world. And I wanted to hear your opinions. And I want to talk to somebody about it. <laughs> so, while I eat my lunch, why not talk about makeup? Okay, so, the Ipsy Ultimate. Are y'all down with that or what? So let me tell you the specs on the I Ipsy Ultimate. The Ipsy Ultimate is above Ipsy Plus. So they have the glam bag where you get sample size or deluxe sample size. And then you have the Ipsy Plus where you get five full size items. And then the Ipsy Ultimate, listen to this, you get eight full size items and four four samples or deluxe or sample size items. Okay, so if the glam bag is $10 a month, but in October, they're gonna move it up to $12 a month, which I don't know why they're doing that. They're like super, I don't know, that just, I was like, what? Okay, if the plus is staying the same, except I believe um, for the plus and for the bag, you can pick two items of your liking, right? It's what I got so far from what, what I read in the, in the email. And then, Ipsy Ultimate, oh, Ipsy Plus is 20, $25. And then the Ipsy Ultimate is 50 How do y'all feel about that? Here's my opinion. I was getting the bag, but even now, my bag is still shipping. You like it? I don't know, because I want to try it. This is the thing. I want to try it, and I want to see if it's, because if, if you want to just get, this is what I don't understand, right? Okay. You get eight full size items and four deluxe sizes. You finally got the Glam Back Plus. I ke I kept the Glam Back Plus, and I and I and I'm getting the Ultimate. But if you want to scratch the bag and you want to scratch the Plus, you can just get the Ultimate. That'd be fifty dollars. You get three extra full size items and one less deluxe size item. Is it worth fifty dollars if you look at it that if you look at it that way? I should have did the math. But I just came on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's another thing. Will we be getting doubles? Will be we be getting doubles? That's another question. Yes, good point. See, I don't know, girl. I don't know. But I want to say this. For the people out there that don't want to, like, buy high-end makeup, you should go, totally go, you don't have to go with Ipsy, but do go with the subscription box. Just don't go with that other one I hate. Go with any of them, but that one. I'm so hungry. I didn't realize that this plate was in my face.
Okay. I also want to talk about the new palette I saw online. The Norvina palette. Have y'all seen it? No? Right now. Don't leave my, my life. <laughs> but go try to find, go look for it. Use someone else's phone. The Norvina palette, the new one. Go look on Trend Mood. Girl, oh my God. Okay, so here are my thoughts on that palette. I don't know if I want to get it. When I first saw it, I was like, I want it. I want it. I want it. Now, this is a this is ABH, but it's a separate line. It's a daughter. She, ha she started, I guess this is volume one, so I'm guessing there's going to be more. So, and I didn't even count the pans that are there, but it's a big palette. It's, it's big. Now, the top, the top, the first two rows on top look just like the purple Norvina palette that she came out with. The first palette she came out with, the purple one. And it has hints of the Jackie Ina palette as well, right? But the third row down, third, fourth, and fifth, those colors are unique to me. I'm, I, don't, I don't know, if, I mean, some of them, not all of them, they look new to ABH. Not that I'm a collector and I wouldn't know, but I did get all the dupes, so I think I know. And I don't know how much that palette's gonna cost, but I'm sure there there's somewhere you can find that info. But I'm on the fence about that one. And I did um, purchase the, and I know I said I wanna know by, but Raul says it's an early, it's an early birthday gift. But, um, Colored Rain, the Power Palette. 60, if I found the correct one. Yeah, it has purples and like some deep blue and reds and oranges. It's a purple, big old mirror square. $60, man. The Colored Rain Palette, the purple one, was $29. That's something I can be stand behind. $60, like... But I was telling a friend, it's interesting because if you look at that palette, you can cut that palette into four, four different separate palettes. Like it's a, it's a, it's a lot. It's like a lot of different. I can just see so many looks coming out of there. Like I, I wonder if anyone ever really like got a palette and just did went ham on one palette and did like a hundred fucking looks. My goal for next year. This is my goal. A, you know what I'm going to call it? A resolution because we can break those anytime. A New Year's resolution. To not buy no more palettes for the whole year of 2020. 2020. Oh my God, we're in 2020. And use, utilize every palette I have for the whole year. Like go through every palette and do a look, at least one. These beans are so good, oh my God.
Talking about with the Norvina palette or with my re New Year's resolution? We need to start talking about New Year's resolution, y'all, because that shit's going to come through real quick. By the way, everyone breaks New Year's resolution, so if I break it, that's not my problem. <laughs> I'm waiting on Rue. He's on his way home. He's got a doctor's appointment. I gotta go with him. That's why I got this lit. Brittiana, how you been feeling, girl? Are you keeping that private? Oh, show me the guinea pigs? But how are you health-wise? Like... Okay, everybody, Brittiana's pregnant. Woohoo! My love book's pregnant. I feel like it's my baby. <laughs> She's pregnant. She's gonna have a baby. I'm the same, tired and bitchy, like constantly. I'm not even pregnant. Have you been having any cravings? Do you be craving meat when you're pregnant? For y'all that don't know, she's a vegetarian. But not by choice, right? For health issues. I could just eat these beans with the rice all day long. All day. Who's in here? There's three people in here and only one person is talking. Oh yeah. You know what? What's that word? Pescatarian. A friend was saying that she was pescatarian. I thought it was a religion. <laughs> I thought it was a fucking religion. And I was like, Ceviche. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good combo. Ella, like, yeah, she's, uh, her religion is pescatarian. They were like, uh, that's a, that's a person that just eats seafood, you idiot. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but is, is pescatarian? Is the religion pescatarian? And pescatarian is seafood. A seafood, just, they just eat seafood, right? Like vegetables, but was just the meat and seafood. But I mean, that's an easy word to get mixed up, right? I mean, I'm not a complete idiot. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, press Presbyterian. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. But it sounds, it kind of sounds alike. That's why I cannot learn Spanish. Because a lot of the words sound alike. So, I get confused. I may, I may have a, I think I have a learning disability. Because I can't really comprehend things. It kind of takes me a moment. Even in life, like, someone, like, my mom's like, they're giving you a hint. I'm like, well, why don't they just tell me? I need people to be direct with me. I really do. Because I cannot take hints. I can't, like, 
Like when someone's like saying something like, oh no, I don't, I don't need that. And I'm like, okay. And I walk away. Like, okay. They don't need it. Maternity clothes. Girl, I could never find clothes at Goodwill. My mom would be like, let's go Goodwill shopping. And I'm like, oh. you know what I do when I go to Goodwill? I go to the home, like the home good stuff. Or I go look at like the blankets, but my mom, so my mom got bed bugs from a sheet set she had bought, or a comforter she had bought at um at Goodwill. Well, it wasn't even Goodwill; it was a, a thrift store, but it wasn't Goodwill. It's like a name, a local name store here. And um, so I stopped going to blankets all together because I was like, mm mm. Because I know you're supposed to wash them. She washed it, but you know, bed bugs don't die without like steam, like hot, hot steam. Well, I don't wear dresses, but yeah, I, I never find anything that fits me. I, I'm guessing because the people that are my size are like, they're holding on to their clothes for dear life because they're like, there's really nothing out there for people my size. And I'm like, oh, and then it's all, and, and then if I do find something, it's always something so like, I look like a fucking couch. Yeah, I look like a fucking like flowery or like really ugly, pukey, shitty colors. Which I don't mind shitty colors, but. <laughs> yeah, I wear a size 3X and, or 4X, but um, it depends on the material as well, you know. I can, I can pull off a 3X if it's like long enough, I feel like. But I do like to be comfortable. Like the other spots on my body I don't really like to show, so. Two for a dollar? Wow. That's a, that's a skill, girl. Good for you. But, um, bike shorts. Girl, it's like 107 over here right now. It's the lowest, I think they said it was going to be 105 this whole week. So, yeah, this is like real hot over here. But, um, videos that will be coming up for my channel will be, I do, um, I'm going to do uh, magnetic lashes, actually. Y'all can see how that came out. 89 and you're and it's hot is that the hottest it gets over there Fuck. girl i don't know we just why why didn't like we were just like in the open like no no kind of shade over here nacho cheese i don't make nacho cheese sauce i get velveta it's easy velveta and rotel When there are shortcuts, girl, that's what I hit. I don't, I don't go out of my way to look for recipes for shit that is like a real shortcut, like spaghetti sauce. I will never make a spaghetti sauce in my life. <laughs> never. The fuck. Okay. That's better. Well, I just wanted to come on and uh, just share my thoughts on that palette. I don't even know if I even completed a thought. My thought was, I don't think I'm gonna pick up. Oh, this is okay. So here's what I would tell you to do. A cheese sauce. I've seen so many, but what I would do is just like a roux, butter, flour, milk, cheese, and then I would buy a can of Rotel and then add the Rotel to make it spicy. That's what I would do. 
Maybe some mustard, like some dry mustard as a seasoning for a kick, maybe, for the sharp, sharp cheddar. Maybe cayenne pepper, even. And if you want, if you don't want to buy the Rotel, then just saute some jalapenos, tomato, onions, and make like a, maybe even cilantro. I don't know. Cilantro could make it, make it taste good, too. I don't know. I, I don't know. I would never do that, though. <laughs> okay, so my thoughts on the palette are, um, I don't think I'm going to pick it up. I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to wait. I'm, I don't think it's going to be something I'm going to get because because it's new. I'm going to get it because I have to see reviews. I'm going to have to see looks. Um, I am even might have to hit it at some point when it's on sale. Like, if, if there's an Ulta, or maybe cash in on my Ulta points, and maybe I'll pick it up there. Because um, I do know at, um, Ulta does sell Anastasia. So, yeah, I might do something like that. But I don't think I'm going to try and go out of my way, like, to get it or anything. It's beautiful, but I really got to, I, I got to wait. I got to stand back and wait and see what, what comes out. Um, and, um, and the Ipsy Ultimate, again, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep my, my plus. I'm keeping the plus and see what happens with, you know, the Ultimate. And if I get any doubles, then I'm just going to go for the Ultimate. And maybe, maybe I'll do some math. <laughs> maybe I'll do some math and see if it's really worth it. Like how, how much money for each full size item and, um, you know, how much, you know, am I am I winning or am I losing? I don't know. Because they have to win somehow. By the way, oh my God, fat, fit, fu fat, fib, fun. Okay. I was on Reddit and a chick, because I follow a uh, subscription box or uh, subscription on Reddit. It's beauty box subscriptions. Subreddit. Um, and anyways, a girl received a fab fit fun add-on she paid fifty dollars for this purse and freaking fab fit fun left the tj max sticker on it and on the sticker it was a lot cheaper than what she paid for for the add-on and can i let me tell you something the other day i went looking I was looking for the YSL um, lip glosses that I really, really like, right? So I was like looking for like a, them in bulk. So I somehow fell into, cause you know how you go down rabbit holes when you go on Google. And I somehow found a page called Liquidation. It was like a liquidation store. And so I clicked on it and I started seeing like, they were like selling a whole brand of shit for like $500, but you get like, and it's like a, like a big, brand name and i'm like this is what tj maxx and um even boxy charm they this is what bo beauty boxes do they buy these 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 um these uh products on liquidation that's what it is so people in the in the reddit the subreddit were saying that um Fab Fit Fun must be below TJ Maxx because TJ Maxx, they got TJ Maxx's hand me downs. <laughs> or, or, um, they are sending people off to go purchase shit from TJ Maxx for cheap. But somehow these subscription boxes got to make a profit, right? So they're just buying shit off liquidation sites. Mind you, there are, when I typed in liquidation, beauty liquidation girl there was pages and pages and i was like i was really really contemplating on getting um this l'oreal set it was a l'oreal liquidation bundle for like a hundred and something because of the it was like all the lipsticks that i wanted <laughs> but i was like no nah, i'm not gonna do it but still like imagine you know if i wanted to start a beauty box i would know how to do it Everyone, everyone tells me, like, you should start your own beauty box. You should start your own, you should do your own makeup. But, I mean, maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. You know, you never can tell the future. But if I was to sell anything, what would I sell? I would probably sell something for the lips. Probably, like, lip glosses or something. And then I saw a video on YouTube, right, 
uh, about how to make lip glosses. I was like, right? like how to sterilize them, how to pack them up, how to make it. I was like, oh, that's cool. But what would I want my lip gloss to be that nothing else is? That's what I would, that's, that's, that's the, uh, you know, something I got to come up with. Well, y'all ain't gonna know about it because, you know, I've got to step back over here and do it. <laughs> I'm wearing the colored rain lippy. As you can see, I ate and it's still there. It's not like pigmented, pigmented, but it's still there. How about that? I'm just talking and talking. Are y'all talking back at me? I mean, I feel like I just be talking and talking and just taking over the conversation. <laughs> if you get the doubles, you're going to cancel. Yeah, that's, that's the, I mean, but they're, I don't know. They still haven't sent me my Ipsy bag. I'm still like, where's my fucking Ipsy bag? We talked about this last time, Ipsy Care on Twitter. Why is it late again? I don't know what's up with Ipsy and their shipping. So, so not only do they not have enough shipping issues with Ipsy Glam Bag and Ipsy Plus, now they're gonna add another box to have to ship out and no one get and be everyone be mad at them? I did cancel the bag. Oh, let me tell you what happened, girl. Okay, I canceled the bag, right? And then we got a new um, card, debit card, credit card. And I, and since I didn't want the bag, right? I didn't change the billing information. I only changed it for the Glam Bag Plus because you know you can do that separately, right? Hi, April. And so I had added. Remember I told you I had put add-ons into my Glam Back Plus? I did two add-ons. It was a Pixie product and an eyeshadow palette that I wanted for my add-on for my Glam Back Plus. But when my box came, I was like, where are my add-ons? I looked on my credit card, they hadn't charged me. So I asked them, I said, um, you know, I called uh, Twitter, Twitter tweet, whatever the fuck you call it. I was like, yo, where are my add-ons this you know and they, and they went to go check they go well your billing information is not right i said yes it is for the glam bag plus it is she goes no you need it on your glam your ipsy glam bag so i was like okay so i went and i i, I updated the ipsy glam bag billing and guess what they charged me hi becca they charged me for a bag when i specifically told them i did not want that bag no more so I got the bag and now it's late. Very confusing if you don't know what we're talking about, but it's Ipsy we're talking about. <laughs> and we, we don't like their shipping issues. They're charging $12. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Girl, that's what we're talking about. And me and, me and Cubana, we're gonna keep the plus. I think we, she said she's gonna keep, I'm gonna keep the plus. I'm gonna speak for myself. I'm gonna keep the plus, but I'm also gonna get the ultimate. Because the ultimate, you get eight full size items and four sample size together. Does y'all probably be doing this? Ugh, I gotta always like pick up my titty and put it in my bra. Because these bras are weird. Like you buy a good bra, right? The plus is 25. Girl, yes, a thousand times, a hundred thousand million times. Okay. I bought this really good bra, right? It's a really good one. And it's super pointy, right? Which is fine. Makes me look like my tits are up there. Um, but since and my tips, my, my breasts don't really like like they they don't fall like that. They they you know, and so they be trying to sneak out of my bra and go under. So I like have under boob. Like it, like it slips under. I don't like it. They're so bulky. Like, look right here. You see how it's like it's like um, a dent in the bra. Like, why are they? Why do they put my breasts are already big? I wear a double, triple thousand, double D. Why do you pad it? Why do you pad a big ass bra? Hi, Samara. Who are making bras? 
Who is saying, okay, this girl's got big old titties. We're gonna put extra padding for her. No, this is thick, y'all. This look how thick it is thick. You can't see it. it's thick. And then, oh girl, the padding at the bottom. Okay, that's fine, but. Girl, I went down one size and then it was too small. I This is an underwire, I'm saying, but like my breast, because of how big, look, it's all loose. Look, can you see how loose it is right here? It's loose right here. Because I'm older, my breasts right here are not plump like they used to be. You know how when you're younger and all, you say your tits are up here like this. It's plump, right? So. I don't have the plumpness no more. They're deflating. <laughs> and so it's really saggy here. Go down a cut. Okay, April, you must not be a woman. I think you a man because that's bullshit. Girl, you don't know. No, I, okay, I'm not even gonna explain. Okay, anyways, I hate this bra. Um, and it's always expensive as bra too. So. Yeah, I don't, I just feel like they don't really, they make, they make bras for mannequins. They don't make bras for real life women where one boob's bigger than the other. They go down, they kind of sag. They don't, they're not as voluptuous as these motherfuckers that are making the bras think. My body is not a mannequin. My body is my body. Okay. Not everything is perfect. One tit when I wake up in the morning, one titty is pointed that way and the other titty is pointed up straight. My husband, my husband, when I'm laying sideways like this and he comes to hug me, he puts his elbow, he rests his elbows on my titty. That's how they're just all over the place. And if if that's not a lie, then shit. That's 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 the truth. That's the truth. The tr most truth I could ever speak on my channel is titties are not like er not every single titties the same. Oh my god, girl! When he does that, when Raul does that shit, girl, wait till his balls start hanging down. To the side. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> Girl. Shit. I'm always like punching his balls. Because he does shit like that all the time. <laughs> and then... And then you want to talk about pants? I am short. I'll tell him, but he's not here. I'm short, right? And I'm big. How come they think every big girl got the big ass and is tall? Even petite, when I go down to petite plus size, it's, I'm too, they're too short and they look like high waters. And the ass is still big. I don't got big old fucking hip. I wish I did, but my body is not proportioned that way. It's, we all have different shapes. I look like a fucking lollipop. I, that's the best that I can describe is I look like a fucking lollipop. I'm all round on top and got skinny fucking legs. You're 4'11"? Oh my God, you're short. You're like, you're like to right here. Oh my God, I would be like a giant to you. You'd be like, look at that giant. Hi, la la. Look at the giant Mexican. <laughs> Girl, in my culture, I'm like the tallest Mexican ever. I'm five four. All the women in my family are five feet, five feet two. I'm the tallest. Well, we do have. I do have a niece by marriage though. She's not blood related, <laughs> and she's tall. She's got long ass legs, very tall. And I don't, I don't even know, she might not be fully Mexican. Hi, Mix. 
this is why I'm telling you if you're too big. Girl, let me tell you something, Miss. I work at Lane Bryant. Honey, honey, <laughs> my mama, okay? Because she told me, she's like, go get checked at Lane Bryant. Okay, here it is, Miss April, okay? <laughs> Don't get butt hurt, by the way. Okay, <laughs> everyone knows this is how I am. Girl, my mama went to Lane Bryant, okay? And she got fitted with a bra. And she's the one that brought this to my attention, okay? You do not make bras, girl, okay? They thick. Tell me why, Miss Lane Bryant. <laughs> why is the, why are big bras padded? And I'm not talking about the bottom. I'm talking about the whole bra. It's padded, girl. Go into your store and go see. Go into your store. All the big girl bras are padded. No, no big titty girl wants more titties. We do not want more titties. We do not need no padding, girl. Go, go take that to your, um, to the Lane Bryant up and ups. Go let them know. Big titty bitches do not want padding on their bras. Why this gotta be so fucking big? Okay, I was missing. Six four. Ooh, I, that's what I was telling my mom yesterday. I was like, "Yo, I saw a talk. I was like, sometimes I wish that I would I wouldn't have settled with a short guy. That I oh, <laughs> I should have went for a tall guy. I should have waited for a tall guy. Nah, but I'm happy. I like my little shorty. We're at the eye level." It's to hide the nipple. Oh my, oh girl, don't get me started on nipples. Don't do it, girl. Oh my God. Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me why my nipples. Tell me why my nipples are huge. I ain't never had no baby. But my nipples are Big. Okay, so people be like, I have pepperoni nipples. No, bitch, I have salami. This right here. This is me right here. I want to take my shirt off like this. This is me right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did research? Okay, girl. Okay, April. I can picture April doing the research. So very scientific working for Lane Bryant. <laughs> fuck it. The fuck you working at Lane Bryant for if you're doing all this research? Go be a scientist. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Mick, don't bring up nipples, girl. Oh, this is what I was gonna say before I was rudely interrupted by April and her scientific studies. Okay, anyway. Okay, um, my nipples. <laughs> My nipples are, okay, everyone's like, oh, they're pepperonis. Um, 
you know, and I'm like, no, okay, girl, mines are like the salami, not the salami you get at the deli. Mine are like the, 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 the food stamp, the one that the food stamp salami that, well, that my mom used to buy when she was on food stamps, the big salami, like the big ones with the real big pieces of pepper. And then it has a red, the red strip that you got to tear off. You eat it with mustard and whipped cheese. <laughs> it's like this big. That's my nipples. <laughs> Girl. Talk about nipples. You want to talk about nipples? Not even Oscar Mayer, girl. It's the one in. It's in the one. It's in the one that is um in the the plastic. It's real juicy. Hi, Mimi. Hey, girl. Yeah, it's not even in the in the container where you have the classy yellow flap. That's super hard, no, girl. It's a, the one you got to peel apart the the corners. The plastic. Girl, you you must not have. <laughs> You must have that. You, you, you know what? Count your blessings. You never had that struggle, Becca. Yeah, I, I hear you, April. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> if, if you're new here, then then you, you shouldn't be. You should join the lives more often, so you you know that I'm I'm fucking with you. I just try to be funny. Everyone knows I just try to be funny. Uh, sometimes it's a hit. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> But you, you know what? You made my life interesting. My life, not my life. Uh. Oh, well, my mom, well, like I was saying, my mom went and got fitting and she came out and the bra still didn't fit her. So I don't know what that says about Lane Bryan, but it says something about the person that's measuring you. This is what I don't understand, right? She, when you measure a woman, you know, you have she has to wear a bra, okay? But she she's already coming in with a bra that don't fit her. So do you measure her bare? Because if you were to measure me, you would be like, um, it would be like the the measuring tape would go all the way like to my belly button, and then you know, so if you have to measure me in a bra that already don't fit, then aren't you measuring wrong? Because it's, you know what I'm saying? To me, a, I don't feel like any of those fittings are true fittings. Maybe you should measure me laying down. That's like. If you let if you lay me down and put two pillows on the side to do this, um, like this, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's what how you're gonna have to maybe like uh, I don't know something here like a uh what do they call it a brace. And so I'm laying down, and that's that's how you could probably measure me, maybe, maybe. Who retracted that statement that she just made? I'm nosy. I want to know what was said. All right. Well, y'all learned a lot about me today. You learned that um, I won't be purchasing the Norvina palette, even though it's beautiful. I'm gonna wait. Um, you learned that I will be getting the Ipsy, um, what's, what's it called? The Ipsy, I forgot. Oh, it's okay. Um, oh, it's okay, April. You're good. You're good. Um, what's ultimate? You learned that I'm going to be getting the Ipsy Ultimate and the Ipsy Plus, and um, I'll let you, you know, I'll let you know. You learned that my nipples were the size of low-cost salami. You learn that Raul constantly rests his elbows on my titty. You learned a lot about me. So, I think that's enough for this live. I think it's, 
it's adequate life. Someone's name looks like boobs. What's his name? It says yes. Do you see his name? Her, him, her. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him there. You see, he or her, he or she sound um, seems like uh, they got a sense of humor. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you have a great day and um, have a good week. It's hump day. How about that? Oh, Jenny. Yes, just go ahead, girl. I'm gonna keep the replay up. I have nothing to hide. We all know that Lala's titties are whack. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Yes, you did, Mimi. You sure, you sure do, Mimi. And I don't think you can handle me, Mimi. <laughs> okay, bye.